Hey y'all, in 4 h and here with the Yaesu FTDX 5000 MP. Now, a lot of my videos, I tell you all the time, a lot of my videos are just teaching videos, uh, you know, operating techniques. You could apply to just about any radio. What I'm gonna show you here does apply to the FTDX 5000 uh, MP and the other variants of the 5000. You hear that Soda Go station there? Not him. That one. Now, I'm gonna work him right quick and then I'll show you what I had to do to hear him. If I can get through. He's coming up. That's KX0R. Okay, so I got him. Um, let me clear. Let me let me get it. Get it. Okay, he gave me a five eight nine, and I gave him a five three nine. Let me get that in the log. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here and uh, just logging him on soda. So hang with me a second. You've seen me do that many times. I want to get my my chase points uh, there. All right, so I'm not gonna pan over to that screen because that's not what the video is about. I was just wanted you to, you know, see me work him and now uh, show you what it takes to hear him. Well, I hope he's not finished. Okay, I'm gonna undo a bunch of DSP. All right, there we are on amp one, 30 meter band. CW, I, you know, I tell you all the time, try to use IPO, but with CW narrowing down um, to cut cut down on some of the noise, and if you had, you know, adjacent frequency interference, that too. However, when you do all that narrowing down, you usually need to boost your gain a little bit. So I had to go to amp two to hear him. But before I do that, let me go ahead and turn on digital noise reduction width down to 50, audio peak filter. Now, let's see if we can hear it. I think he may have finished. Wait a minute, there's somebody. Well, okay, if he, if he doesn't come back, let me go ahead and show you what I had to do. Ant one was not quite enough sensitivity to pull him out. He was very, very down there. So I uh, I went to amp two, but of course, you know, you get that ringing, okay? You hear it? It's more prominent with amp two than it is amp one because you're driving more signal through your filters. So I went over to the DSP and I did my notch trick. Now, here he, here's what it sounds like without all the help. See the noise? Because I'm in amp two. All right, so I went to amp two to get more sensitivity. Then I needed to quiet things down. So I went to DNR with it 50 APF. But now see here the filter ringing and I went to the notch trick. Still a good bit of filter ringing and I'm up at there's 570. I'm I'm 30 hertz away from knocking him out because you know this is a, a notch, and if I go to 600, I lose my tone. 
Okay, so what I did was this radio has a function I have it set up to instantly go there when I tap my custom switch down here, this little gray button right down here. Oh, there's somebody. Maybe that's him. I tap that. That immediately takes me to the portion of the menu where I can adjust my APF width. It's currently on narrow, which is the, well, let me show you. There's a narrow, medium, and wide. I always, when I, you know, if you've got my uh, PDF, my menu optimizations PDF for this rig or, or any of the others that I feature on this channel, then you know that I always go into the menu and set that to its most narrow setting. Well, this radio has a more narrow setting than narrow and it's called S period narrow, super narrow. Somebody tuning up. Hopefully they'll finish soon. I wanna, I want you to be able to hear what the super narrow can do. Well, you can hear a little bit of it there. Now hear that ringing? So point being, with this radio, if I have to resort to amp two because I need the extra sensitivity to pull them out, I'm gonna get more of that ringing sound. So I use my notch trick, you see, there's without the notch trick. But I'm also setting the APF to super narrow versus normal narrow. Now, if you're wondering, if you have an FTDX-10, FTDX-101, D or MP, or the FT-710, they do not have this super narrow option. I don't know why. Uh, Yesu did not continue that feature in their flagship radios today, but this is an example of where I would use super narrow. I had to use amp two because I needed extra sensitivity. I needed the extra sensitivity of amp two. And uh, well, that's gonna push more signal through those filters and that's gonna make that ringing sound worse. So, yeah, you know, I go to my CS button because sometimes I do run it on regular narrow because super narrow will cause the volume to go down a little bit and you have to boost the volume here to make up for it. I'll just turn the volume up. But these are the things, you, the techniques you just have to master these. The more you do it, the more you'll go, okay, I need to, I, I know what I need to do. I need to turn on, you know, let's say there's what I have. I go, okay. Um, I mean, listen to that. So I go, okay, well, the notch trick is not quite enough. Super narrow. All right, so if you own a 5,000, I hope that'll help you at some point. Of course, that assumes that you are a CW operator. That's my favorite thing, sideband second. I also like to do a little bit of AM and FM, but CW is what I really like. So hopefully that'll help you out. If you don't do CW well, maybe you were entertained if you watched the whole video. But again, I, uh, you know, just remember what you're doing with a 5,000, I, I went ahead, what you can do, to, by the way, to set the CS button, I didn't show you how to do that. I have shown it in another video, but you can just go into the normal menu and then menu, t menu over till you find the APF width. And there it is right there, menu 112. And then you just long press the C.S dot button until you hear the dot dot, you know, the did it, the little beeps. And now you can be, you can have your normal menu set to something else. Like there I am at 104, uh, which is audio. Sometimes I'll, I'll keep that one at my fingertips because if I'm working DX, I might go to 300 to 2700 width or 400, 2600 width to try to break a pile up. Although most of the time I can do it with my standard setting. Um, so that way, I can leave that button to always default to audio, and then I can use the CS to default to the APF width, which I'll usually go in there and set to super narrow when I have this scenario here. So what I want you to remember, if you have to, if you have to go to amp two to have more sensitivity to pull out a weak station, then you're gonna get more ringing. Think of not only the notch trick, which I've shown you many times, but you may even have to go to super narrow.
and see, I mean, there's still a lot of signal in there, but here's what it would be like without super narrow in the notch trick. And now no DNR, now no width at 50, and now no APF. Isn't that fantastic what we have available to us in these radios today to subdue noise and be able to pull out uh, a weak station? So, hey, thanks for watching videos on my channel. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If so, please do me a favor. Click like, subscribe to the channel. If you like this kind of content, that'll let me know that you want to see more. And uh, if you would, please indulge me for 32 more seconds. I would like to recognize five of the Patreon team members, what I call long haulers, who help make these videos possible. Without their support, uh, you wouldn't have seen this video or really any of the others. So thanks again, and 73 from N4 H&H. &H.